Now, one of the biggest challenges for militaries around the world, including here in South Korea, is figuring out ways to train soldiers that have yet to experience real life or death combat situations. It'll never truly be a substitute for the acute stresses of an actual war. But South Korea is making training as realistic as it possibly can through the incorporation of modern technology. Kim Jeon reports. Instead of live ammunition, trainees at the Army's Korea Combat Training Center in Inja County in Kangwon-do Province use lasers and sensors. Soldiers wear special gear equipped with a multiple integrated laser engagement system that are then used to simulate situations, including the mobilization of South Korea's Army units when the country is under attack. The training is aimed at better preparing the Army for real combat, something the South Korean military lacks now that it has been engaged in a full-scale war for some 70 years. The simulations are heavily monitored in a control room where instructors are able to watch real-time combat situations unfold thanks to a sensor attached to each soldier's uniform. Sensors are attached to detect when soldiers are hit, and depending on the severity of the attack, they could be categorized as mild to critically wounded. Trainings are monitored in real time, and then the unit's performance is analyzed in detail for future evaluation. With the dawn of the 5G era, South Korea military hopes to further develop the training that incorporates big data as well as technologies involving virtual and augmented reality. As part of efforts to boost the modernization of the country's military, South Korea's defense minister, Chung kyung doo paid a visit to the center and was reassured that the weapons used during the simulations are the same kind to the ones actually used in combat. Kim Ji-yeon, Arirang News, Inja County.